Hey, this is Jennifer Priest of Rainmaker Media Works and Hydrangea Hippo, and I want to share with you today my review of CoSchedule. So CoSchedule is this really awesome tool that I found out about a few weeks ago, and I started using it. It's really um, a fun way to schedule all of your content in WordPress, manage all of your posts, um, share it to social media, and it integrates with a lot of other um, different tools that you use. So what I'm going to do is show you my screen so that you can see how CoSchedule works. So you're just going to click the little button. You can try it for free. Or if you already have an account, you can just log in. Um, so I'm going to go back because I do have a login already. And I'm just going to log right in. Um, and I have a couple blogs already set up on here. But what I'm going to do is actually walk you through how to set up a new blog. So basically over on the left you'll go to add new blog, put in the URL of your blog. So this one I'm going to use rainmakermediaworks.com. It'll find my blog. It'll ask me to sign in. Um, and this is really as fast as it is. It's It just takes a couple minutes to get up and running and connect this to everything. So it'll automatically bring up your login. Um, you'll log right in and um, just got to wait for it to do its little thing. Um, oh, I think I changed my password. <laughs> All right. So once you've logged in, oh, Lord. Oh, it has the wrong username. All right, come on. Oh, I have too many passwords. All right, so once you get logged in, it'll start pulling all the info from your um, from your blog into CoSchedule. So it's really nice because all your posts will be in there, all of your uh, draft posts will all be in there as well. And it's also going to install it onto your blog itself. So now once it's set up, it'll tell you it's all set up. Show me the calendar and it'll show your calendar. First it'll ask you about your time zone. Yes, my time zone is correct. Um, and I don't have anything here scheduled. Actually, I do have drafts. Let's see. Do, do, I'll post draft. All right, so it'll pull everything into your calendar. So once you have that set up, then you can go to your settings and you can connect your, your um, social profiles. So I can connect Twitter, Facebook. What I really like is that you can connect Facebook groups which is great because I was having to use, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Hootsuite for that. But it'll also connect to your buffer. So first you can connect all your accounts. And once you have your accounts connected, you go down to integrations. And let's actually just do this right now. So I'll connect a Facebook page. And it's going to let me choose from all my pages. I want to add the page for that blog. And it'll show me down here that it's here. Now I can connect that to my Buffer account. So everything will all be together in all the different places. So I don't have to go check co-schedule and see what's scheduled there. I don't have to check uh, Buffer separately. It's all together. Now I can also integrate my Google Analytics, my Bitly account, any other analytics that I have, and my Google Calendar. So I can add my blog posts to my Google Calendar, and I can also add my social media posts to Google Calendar. So I'll click add, add to Google Calendar. Yes, I want to add this calendar. And then um, I have mine all color coded. So here's where it is. And all my Rainmaker Media Work stuff is gray. So I'm going to make that calendar gray. And it'll say FB, where is it at? Oh, yeah, WordPress, Rainmaker Media Works. So it's going to show me all of my WordPress stuff for Rainmaker Media Works. And I can connect all of my different calendars. I can also connect my 
social media calendars to my Google Calendar so I can see everything that's scheduled all at once for everybody. I can also invite team members and assign them different um, tasks and different usernames, etc. Um, they also have a great referral program, so I'm going to put a link here in the annotation so that you can click on um, a button that will bring me referrals. But if you sign up, you can also get um, money off if you write a if you write a review or if you refer people. And then you can change kind of if you have some special stuff, if you have a special template or anything else that you have going on with your WordPress account, you can make it all custom. So I'm going to have you look at my Hydrangea Hippo blog because this is already populated with everything so that, um, why is it not working? Um, it's already populated with everything so you can kind of see what it looks like when something is, is in here and scheduled and published and all that kind of stuff. So a scheduled post is just um, like white and then draft posts that aren't scheduled are going to be yellow. And then if you put your social stuff, it'll show that on the day that you've scheduled it. So if I go over here to drafts, I have some drafts. Here, fix a curtain rod. I'm going to just drag and drop it to where I want it to be at. And it'll drop right there. Then if I click on it, I can change who the author is. I can change all my different categories that I'm using. I can also put my... Um, uh, you know, I can change it to pending review or scheduled. I can open it in WordPress and then um, to do extra editing, which I do like to do. So say that I, I have this post about fixing curtain rod that falls apart. What's nice is automatically when you go to share this on social media, it's going to put in a title and the permalink. And so then you can choose what social media you want to share it on. So I'm going to share it to my personal Facebook, my other personal Facebook, my page, my Google+, LinkedIn, um, you can have it go to Pinterest if you want. There's no pictures in it, so it'll tell me, oh, this isn't going to do Pinterest because I don't have the right kind of post. So I could click image post and I can change it to be an image post. So I could upload a picture if I wanted to. Um, let's just do a little sample. This is not the right picture, but I'm just going to put that there so you can kind of see what it does. So now that it's an image post, it will let me send to Pinterest. Um, and then for a link post. All right, so now what I can do is add my text. So this is about fixing the curtain rod, so I'm going to say fix the most annoying problem with your curtain rod. Check out how on this blog post. And so I can actually just take out my permalink here and move it around wherever I want it. And then I can go ahead and click the day and time that I want this to post. I can choose custom, month, week, etc. And I can also choose the time, choose a custom time, and then I can also add it to my buffer if I wanted to. So I'll just click add message and click my check mark. And what it'll do is it'll populate all of my messages down here below that post. Now, if I want to access my blog from here to edit it instead of doing it in the regular window, then I can just click open in WordPress and it will pull up my post and open it in WordPress. So then I can start editing my post from there instead of doing it from my post list that's here. So it basically just takes, it's kind of like a shortcut to get into your blog. So instead of having to scroll through here and find my posts, I can just go into co-schedule, find my post, and open it directly from there. Um, so you can also schedule. You can add different tasks that you need to do. Like maybe right now I need to, um, you know, tell myself, because I'm the only person, you know, one day before the post, you know, proofread it or whatever. So I'll add a task. Then this is stuff I need to do. So then I can just check it off. Okay, I've proofread it. Um, or I need to add my pictures. Like the next thing I need to do is add photos. So I can assign it to me, and I need to do that like a week before the post. So I can have tasks here so that if I'm working with the team, I can assign them some different tasks that they need to do, or even just for myself. Okay, now I know where I'm at with this post. I've still got to edit and add my photos. 
Um, the other thing that's great is you can just drag and drop and move things around. So sometimes I'll have, like, I like to do roundups on Wednesdays. So sometimes I'll have stuff on a Wednesday that's not a roundup, so I'll move it around. Um, and then, like, here's another one, 10 ways to organize ink. What I can do is I used to be putting notes in here where I would say, like, okay, here I asked a group that I'm in for all their roundup links. Well, instead of putting that in the text of my post here, what I can do is just make that a task in WordPress. So check for links. I'm going to assign it to me. I'm going to do that a week before the post. And now I have this task set, task set up so that I can go in and check for my links, and I know where I'm at with this post. So I'm really happy with CoSchedule. I love it. I love how everything's integrated. I have all my social profiles connected. I have everything connected to my Google Analytics. And it tells you like what's connected. Oh, OK, I didn't connect my Bitly yet. I should go connect Bitly. Um, I have my Google Calendars all connected. And so it's just really nice. Um, also, it'll tell you if you're using a, a trial program right now or not all your billing info. Um, I'm just really happy with it. And it's $10 a month per blog. So as you can see here, I have three blogs on it now. So that would be $30 a month. But if I wrote a review on each of those blogs, then I would get a discount. And if I referred people, then I would also get a discount. So um, you can totally you know, use the affiliate type access that they have to get some benefits for your referrals and stuff so that it doesn't cost you as much. But still, if you think about it, 30 bucks a month, it's still cheaper than what I'm paying for um, some of the other things that I use. And it helps me manage my blog and all the different team members that I have for the different blogs. So I hope you consider using um, CoSchedule. Like I said, it's been a great tool for me. I've used it for three weeks now for Hydrangea Hippo, and I totally love it. And I wouldn't be sharing it with you if I didn't use it myself. So I added on some of my client blogs, and I've added on my Rainmaker Media Works blog. So try it out. Click the little links and um, for the referral so that I can get my little referral credit. Um, I will probably be linking you to the resources page on the Hydrangea Hippo blog so that you can just go there and get the links, or it'll be on the resources page of the Rainmaker Media Works blog. So thanks so much for tuning in, and let me know if you have any questions about CoSchedule down there in the comments section, um, or if you have any comments, or if you've used it. I'd love to hear more. Thanks so much. Bye.